So, as of only a few days ago, this was a hoop house just across the street uh, by Cleveland Crops. And this hoop, which I'll show you in a minute, was completely full of tomato vines and is cleared out for their next planting, uh, growing vegetables and food with, uh, with their workers here. Um, but those tomato vines, when you pull them at this time of year, it's still pretty hot out. I'd say today's the upper 60s, 70s right now still. Must be much hotter in there. You know, probably imagine 15, 20 degrees warmer during the height of the day. Um, yes, those tomato vines are still full of red and green tomatoes. Mostly green tomatoes, though, for the most part, that aren't going to be getting that much bigger, but that's a lot of sugars produced. And to see where they went, you can just get over the corner a picture of the compost piles. Um, from here, the tops look pretty dry. I'm not sure how much of that we can really see from this distance with my handheld video device. But, you know, that's fine, you know, it's a, it's a sunny day, but let's see what's going on when we check out maybe what it looks like a few inches down. And so here we merge onto the corner and the side lot waltzes across the street and immediately, yeah, there's evidence of really dry material that goes down quite a ways. Once we get to soil, maybe there's two feet. But in amongst the dry stuff, we've got just, yeah, here they are. Here are the loads of the tomatoes. Just, this is probably what was just raked up, right? Because pulling the vines and the vines are down further. But this is just the rakings, kind of, as you see them doing the final scraping as the final layer. Which unfortunately means because this straw is so dry, on the top, and there's very little soil actually holding moisture. Well, that's where I turned it over. Yeah, you can see, like, even the soil is pretty much drying out, and this can't have been done that long ago. So we've got these tomatoes, here's some on the side, just sitting in zones of the compost where they're simply not gonna be broken down. You know, if we were to get into the center of this pile, you'd have this, you know, microscopic, jungle feast going on, but on the outskirts of town where it's drier, you know, where the conditions aren't nearly as ideal given this sort of seeming haphazard, there's like a, just a piece of sackcloth over here. That's not going to break down near the top, you know. Yeah, so these layers just stretch all the way across the top, and you can see I don't know, it's, it's hard to see with shadows. Just the evidences, these spill trails. Because these, as you can see in here, are just, I'm not even touching anything with my fingers, is that there's rat tunnels. Every one of these. Unfortunately, I can't get that close, but like, you can see like, here are prints made by rat feet. You know. So that's just one of theirs, and Oh, yeah, we missed a couple. So they seem to be on average around every foot and a half to two feet. Oh, and here's a main thoroughfare right there. I mean, this this suggests tunnel network. In fact, that that's probably a shared use tunnel. Like, you know, or, you know, it was initially dug out by a single rat and then with the high concentration of other burrows nearby and entrances, you see how the tunnels just sort of overlap and networks develop. So this is probably a much higher trafficked area. And if you can get in here, you can really see um, this. Here's just the animal. You can see its front paws, its back paws, and doing some digging, just maintaining this area uh, for a tunnel network, you know? And here you see them, they go off to the sides from here where the back feet are, and this is the mound dug up. Dug, dig, 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 dig. And then the front can rotate 
and travel along this very clear trail heading sideways. You can even see, I mean, it's laid out in plastic now. I, unfortunately, with this sort of 2D capturing device, it's hard to see the, um, the imprint, but this trail is just clear along here. But, and it makes sense because it also follows the way that this water isn't being sort of designed any sort of catchment area uh, for it, even though this is just putting tons of nutrients into the area. So this is actually just a runoff zone right here. So the rats are following the runoff zone created by the compost pile, um, actually deepening it 